DV5 introduces a handful of smart new tools to help you work faster and design more freely. But with so much power at your fingertips, it's easy to feel unsure about where to start, especially when updating an existing layout. So in this video, we are diving into the quickest way to refresh your layouts using DV5's feature like design variables, extend attribute, and lot more. So if that sounds interesting, then let's dive in. My name is Ankit and you're watching Elegant Themes YouTube channel, the makers of the DV Visual Builder. Now, if you want to deep dive in this topic and learn more about it, we have created a complete blog post that we will link in the video description below. So once you are done with this video, I would highly recommend that you go ahead and check out our blog post. I'm sure you will find it really helpful. Now, first things first, let's set up a workspace that keeps you focused. DV5 Visual Builder is like your personal design command center. You can dock panels to keep settings handy, open multiple modules in tabs, and use the layers panel to zip around your layout without scrolling forever. So no more clicking in and out of modules like ping pong game. Open a few modules, keep them tabbed and jump between sections with just a few clicks. It takes a bit to get the hang off, but once you do, it's a game changer for tracking complex pages without losing your flow. Next, let's avoid the trap of styling every module by hand. DV5 design variables let you set reusable values for things like font, color, spacing right from the very start. Say you want all your headings to be in a particular font, you can go ahead and create a font variable, name it and pick the font that you want for your headings and save it for reusing. Every heading linked to that variable stays in sync. You can do this for button styles, section paddings and even background colors. Start with a few key styles you often use and then watch your design stay consistent without repetitive grind. Got a page with hand-coded style? Don't sweat it. DB5 Find and Replace tool makes swapping them out a breeze. Imagine your headings have random fonts scattered across the page. Open a heading module, Click the font field and find and replace. In the panel, pick all the headings font variables and boom, every heading updates instantly. This works for colors, spacing and any variable you set. You can start with high impact styles like font or button backgrounds and your patchwork layout transforms into a sleek connected system in minutes. Now let's talk about speed. Extend Attributes is your secret weapon for instant update across your layout. So you have added a killer border and a shadow to one image and you want that look on every image on the section. Just right click on the styled image, choose Extend Attribute and set the scope of parent section and pick image as element type. Just one click and every image matches the style no manual tweaking required. It even works across different module types. So you can apply a style from a section to a module in a row to a column. It's like waving a magic band over your design. Now why redo what's already perfect? When you nail a style like column spacing, border or background, just save it as option group preset. Open the column settings, find the style group and click the preset icon to save it. Want to apply to anywhere else? Just right click the column, select extend attribute and choose extend column preset. Set the scope to parent row and element type to column and every column in that row gets the same look. These presets stick with your layout pack so you can reuse them across pages making consistency a total breeze. Now sometimes you might need a quick tweak without going big. That's where attribute management shines. Say you have styled a column's border and shadow but only want one other column to match. Just right click the styled column, choose the copy item style and then right click the targeted column and select paste item styles. It's instant, precise and don't mess with other settings. Perfect for those little personal touches when you are fine tuning a nearly finished layout. Copy and paste works for spacing, colors, borders, whatever you need. Your design looks sharp on desktop, but what about the mobile devices? 
Divify's custom breakpoints make it easy to check, flip between tablet, phone and custom screen with the builder's device icon. Enable all 7 breakpoints from the toolbar's Eclipse menu for extra control. Review your layout, tweak spacing and font sizes and ensure everything looks spot on. It's a quick step that saves you from big headache later on. Especially for content heavy pages that need to shine on every screen. Now here is where all comes together. With your design variables set and static values replaced, your design is now a connected system. Need to update your brand colors or font? Just tweak the variable in the variable manager and every linked element update instantly. No hunting through modules required. Now imagine swapping your entire site typography or color scheme in just a few seconds. That's the power of Divi Fine system. It's not just faster, it's smarter, keeping your design consistent and your workflow smoother as butter. So, should you use Divi5 to update your page designs? Absolutely. It's built to adapt to how you work, whether you are a plan everything type or tweak as you go designer. Mix and match these tools, design variables for consistency, extend attributes for speed and copy paste for quick fixes. Go ahead and experiment to find your groove and you will be updating layouts faster than ever. Divi 5 is all about cutting the busy work so you can focus on creating. Ready to give it a spin? Download Divi 5 Public Alpha today and check out our blog post for more tips to supercharge your workflow. And if you like this video, then make sure you give it a like and share it with your friends and community. And for more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. That's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.